Okay, we are getting up to a clear sunny day today. Yesterday was much cooler. It rained most of the day, just a nice light rain. It was very welcome. I think the temps were only about 75 degrees. And this just clicked over to 70 degrees. It got down to 69 below 70 overnight. It'd been sticking around 75 overnight. So a little bit cooler. Let's step outside here. This is now my fifth day here. I've spent four nights, so I need to think about moving on. It's just so hard to leave here. I just love waking up here. It's been so peaceful. Had the place to myself most of the time. When I first rolled up for the first night, I had a neighbor right behind here, and then they left the next day, and then someone rolled in last night. They've been real quiet, tucked back there. It's just so peaceful here. Been able to get out on the motorcycle and do quite a bit of exploring around here, so that's been very nice. But I think I'm going to get it wrapped up today and move on towards Bishop, California, just a little ways up 395 as I continue my way north into Washington State. Getting there little by little. Okay, I'm getting geared up to go. It is so hard to leave here. It's just a beautiful day once again. And uh, I have been taking showers here regularly. Been using my uh, sprayer bottle here. And I do not keep that out in the sun. I've been keeping it in the shade to keep the water nice and cool so it's actually refreshing. And then that's really helped with the heat of the day. Every other day or so I've been using that. Used I think four gallons during my stay here for just rinsing off. And I uh, might as well show you a quick glimpse in the trailer here. Got my shorts up drying. <laughs> this just comes down real easy. It's spring loaded. And it's my mess in here. Been working on getting my luggage stuff, my bag set up on my motorcycle for some camping trips. Got my bicycle in here and the old hitch rack that I'm going to be getting rid of. Gear, boots, helmet and a few tools. Well, it all stays nice and secure in there. Lock it up. All right, we're gonna get ready to continue this adventure. Well, this view has not gotten old, but I do need to move on. Take a little bit of time to get out of here. Supposed to be another warm day today up in the mid 90s around Bishop, California. Of course, I'm gonna be going up in the hills a little bit, so it should be a little cooler. We did get some rain in this area while I was camped here. Gosh, this is the fifth day. Spent four nights here. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Yeah, four nights. But yeah, so far this little boondock and this little trailer setup is working out great. It's just, uh, just enough for me to handle and move around in small spaces. Totally happy with it. Away we go. rolling into Bishop, California. Population 3,500, elevation 4,100. Okay, we found us a dirt road. This is where we want to be. Right, we are in the back country now. So this 
giant canyon in front of me. It's a little precarious. Slowly pushing forward, slowly. All right, we're making some headway. There's so many dragonflies out. They're buzzing everywhere. The sun is starting to dip down behind the clouds and the mountain peaks there. I think we've gone through most of the really rough stuff. Let's see if we can get a campsite up here. I think it's well worth it. Get nestled back in these hills here. Some more trees. There's a creek running through here. Could be a good spot to call home for a couple days, maybe a few days. Well, we made it up to this hillside camp here. I'm loving it. Surrounded by all these big boulders. There's a creek running right down here. Got the mountains behind us here. Overlooking this valley. And it is just a little cooler up here on the hillside. I'll have to check the elevation. I know we came up a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue to get settled in here. It looks like I'm able to park as such to where I'll have a lot of afternoon, evening shade on this side. Morning shade will be on the other side. And I noticed pulling in here, this whole area is a little dark here, like there was a fire pit here. There's nails everywhere. So I tried to steer clear out here where it looks like there isn't any nails, but I'll get out my big magnet bar. There's one right there and uh, try to pick up as much of these rusty nails as I can. Nobody gets a flat way out here. Oh, it's good to see some trees too. Pinion pines. Have to see if I can climb up over in these boulders. God, it just looks beautiful. Well, we had an incredibly quiet night here last night. What a place to wake up. So I've just been doing some tidying up around camp in the trailer. Got the motorcycle out. Gonna go do a little exploring here. I've been doing some tinkering on the bike, kind of getting it geared up for adventure. Uh, when I first got it, I had put some racks on it, a rear rack and some side racks so I could mount these bags and um, some Park busters, tank bag, and that. So I'm just kind of moving everything around, see how that's going to work out, riding with it to get comfortable. And that's been keeping me busy between that and just kind of trying to hang out in the heat of the day. It's supposed to warm up again today, but I think up on the hill here, probably only into the mid 80s, which is like okay for me. It's been a nice breeze here, so I'm going to get geared up and go do some exploring. water. Oh wow. There's some little falls here. Let's see some climbing anchors. Be a fun face to do. Yeah, there's some falls in there.
well, I came upon this little wildlife area here. It's basically just a little parking area off that dirt road. It's pretty rough, rocky dirt road, quite narrow. Man, it is beautiful out here. It's a little greener the further back in you go. Still see down in the valley, 395, Highway 395, and the town of Bishop is down in there. And we've got the mountain range. See the aspens shimmering in the wind. So peaceful. Found this spring here, this natural spring. It's nice and clear. Going right on in. Oh, it's actually just a little warm, but still refreshing. Ah, see if you can see down underneath. Ah, so refreshing.
Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video. I really appreciate you being here. Just wanted to give a big thank you to my friend Philly for showing me around Bishop a little bit and showing me that natural spring. That was a real treat. Should have had you say hi on camera. Philly, I don't know what I was thinking, but it was good to see you. Anyway, we'll see you all again soon in the next video. I'll be meeting up with my girlfriend Kelly soon and be taking a trip up through Washington State and camping along the uh, Cascade Mountain Range there. We're bringing you guys along as usual. We'll see you soon. Take care. Peace.